So how does a jury apportion fault? So many times incidents that cause someone to be hurt aren't clear cut. Sometimes you have people that just blow through a stop sign and someone's just going about their day with a, the right of way and they get slammed into with someone running a stop sign. Other times, it's not quite that simple. Sometimes someone might roll through a stop sign whereas someone else is, is speeding well above the speed limit. Who's at fault in that situation? Comparative negligence, which was the law in Florida up until uh, March 24th of 2023, would have the jury just assign whatever portion they thought was appropriate under those circumstances. And for example, if the plaintiff was uh, 60% at fault, and the jury found the defendant 40% at fault, the plaintiff would have their verdict reduced by their percentage of fault, which in that example would be 60%. One thing people need to be aware of is that although if you are more than 51% at fault and you're the plaintiff, you get nothing if you are let's say 49% at fault, and the defendant is determined by the jury to be 51% at fault, your verdict is still reduced by 49%. So that's something people need to be aware of uh, about this new law. I just wanna say here at Cersei Denny, we are continuing to fight for our clients, even in the face of these changes that do impact our clients rights that are going to take some getting used to, um, but we're not taking our foot off the gas. We're not letting up. We will continue to fight day in and day out for our clients like we've done for decades in the state of Florida and indeed across the country.